welcome to lesson one, movement drills. Okay, so first move, basic moving forwards, backwards. Okay, so good tight stance. All right, so I'll do it from this angle. Nice stance, nice and solid. Hands up, elbows at 45 degree angle. Hands out. We in. Move one. Look at this one. Go forward one. Two. Two. Go the other way. Side stepping. Again, hands up. Nice and simple, nice straight, solid stance, okay? We can move here, yeah, forward, up. Alright, so we're going to go to the left. And we go, one, two, three. Okay, we go right, one, two. Again. Okay, you can do your side step at an angle. So we move in here, step up one, yeah, look, two, three, step forwards, get, push, Next move is tiger stepping. Okay, similar to switch stepping, but a little bit slower and more solid. Okay, so I'm going to do it from the side first. So from here, okay, we're just going to spin on the heel, forward like this into the next step. So again, here. Okay, now keeping your hands up, back hand to the back, front hand at the front. Yes, yeah, same as our legs. So as we step, that changes, and we go forwards. Two, three, solid. Send back one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, 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 two. Do the same move forwards. Here. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, one, 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 two. Okay, the next move, stem stepping. Okay? Similar to tiger stepping, but with a knee, and you'll see the difference. Okay. I'm going to do it from the side again, and then from the front. So we start with stance, back straight, hands up. Wait on this leg. Okay. So if we're going forwards, we're going to lift the back knee up like this, nice and high, high as you can. The right hand follows the right knee. Okay. So we don't just go like this. The right hand. Follows the right knee and then we step. Again. Start here. A lift and step. You see how we drag the back foot in so we're not left like this? We pull in, solid, ready to lift. I'm going to do two. Ready? One. Two. Okay. If we go 
backwards, we do the same. But well, instead of lifting the bell, we lift the front leg. So if I'm left side out this way, I put the weight onto this leg, I lift, nice and high, and step back. One, two, four, one, two, four, one, two, one, two, one, two, four, one, two. Notice when I go forwards, I go forwards, I go in. When I go back, I only step, I don't drag, okay? So I lift and step. Because when you're fighting, you don't want to go too far away from your opponent. So one step is enough. When going forward, you want to advance and hit. So you, you step in, you have power. You move everything together. Backwards, stiff, forwards, forwards. Backwards, not so far. We'll do it from the front. So you can see, in, lift, step, lift, step, lift, step, backwards, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, again, one, forwards, two, forwards, three, four, back, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, this is a very good technique because when you go forwards and you lift in a solid stance, yeah? You're going to block any kick that comes round inwards with a little shin on a knee. You're going forwards, okay? So anyone advancing into you can't advance because your knee and your hands are in the way. You've also got a solid block in here to stop any hooks coming in. And you're nice and tight so your elbows are protecting your ribs. So a perfect stance for moving forwards, very protective. Okay, next step, we have tiger, we have stem. This is one of my favourites, this is dragon stepping. Okay, dragons are known in kind of Eastern mythology as very changeable, very adaptable. And this stance is just that. Okay, so we can move in any direction at any time with good defence, but be able to change from one position to the other. We learn it going forwards and backwards. Once you've got that, you can turn, you can change in any direction and we'll go through that. Okay? So, this is a good one, this one. It's very similar to the last one where we step up and forwards. But this has got an outside curve on it. So imagine doing a crescent kick. Okay? Or a crescent knee. This is the action we're going to be doing. The hands, the hands are different this time. Instead of like this, when we move, we're going to be like this. Alright? We turn. So to practice this, you can stand stance like this, straight up, here, okay? As we turn, we turn like this. We're blocking with this arm. We're practicing a punch or a hook with this arm or an elbow, here. So rather than move one and two, we do both together and we get practice two things at once. Okay, so we set the goal one. As soon as this foot starts to move, you change one and two. One and two, covering the head. One, two. So it all stops together here. One, two. See how this line here, my centre line, stays in line with this arc. Here. Here. It doesn't go one and then two, or one, two, and it doesn't go one and then two. Yeah? And it stops at the end. We're not going one and then two. One and then two, or one and two. We turn together. One, two, three, four. Okay, very close. Now, put the knees into this. Okay? So we bring the knee up. Here. We slow, very slow. It's not done like this. Pointless. Slow. We're feeling. Okay, so we lift, turn, and in. Back to the centre, so we lift, turn, and in. Lift, turn, and in. Now this is a training exercise, okay? This little bit. The actual stepping itself will cover now. So again, I'll get to the front. Hands start here, to begin with, as always. So when we lift, we lift, one. And then we go, here. And step, let's see how I drag the foot. Back straight. Step with the front foot. Step again. Here. 
Change direction, we go back one, spin on the heel, two, three, four, five, six, again, spin, one, two, three, four, five, turn the waist, we can go round, one, you go here, this way, this way, this way, this way. Go forwards here. Practice different angles. Boom, each time. Every time, same technique. Boom. Balls. Here. more movements left in this series. The last one, one of the last ones in terms of moving forwards is the switch step. Okay? Uses a lot of kick. Yeah. yeah. And we turn. Get the punch. We can move it. Yeah. The switch. Yeah. It's a very good one. You get this a lot in any kickboxing style. So again from the side. Okay. Now you can use two ways, one for a punch, one for a kick. First way will be for a kick. Now the switch step is just that, we switch, we change. Okay. So we change position. One. And then the second. The second step can be used as a kick. Yeah. One, two. For example. The quicker you get it, and the more hip rotation, the more power you get, the more speed. If you just kind of go one and then two, no. We switch, we use the waist. See, okay? Four. This. All right. So we go one and a step. Yeah, I'm going to do a few. So we go one and a step. See how my hands don't change because we're not changing sides. We're only changing from the right. Yeah? This way. Yeah? This way. Again with the waist. One. Two. Two. One. Two. Three. Two. One. Two. Three. Okay. Four. Switch here, one, hit one. Waist turns the opposite way, we get power. 
two, we're dead. And we'll keep the hands up. One, two. One, two. Two. One, two. One, two. Forwards. One, two. One, two. One, two. Two. One, two. One, two. One, two. We're going to finish with these movements. We've got three movements left. Very small movements, very fine. Again, coming in boxing, okay, to move out of the way. So, we have the duck. Very straightforward. For a high kick or a high hook. Over the punch. It's very much like the side step, okay? This is what we did before, where we were off. Hip, hip. Practice both sides. Now we duck. We drop. Two. Okay? In fact, we can go like this. With the hands, over the head. Okay? Because if we go low, here, say my hands don't move, I move. I'm not doing this. I'm dropping. My body drops, my hands stay. So we go. And we duck. Because if I keep my hands like this, I'll get hit in the head. Alright, so we've got one. Push, two. Three. If I do it from the side, you'll see I'm not doing this. It's too slow. Back straight. Use the legs. Power through the legs. Oh, straight one. Yeah. We can go the opposite way. This way. Okay. A weave. A weave is just a side step, but smaller. When we do this way, yeah, we did it at an angle. We did the side step like this, and we did the side step like this. So a side step on the twist, this way, just small, but we're going to use the arms as well. Here. Okay? Here. See how I'm not moving the front foot? I'm spinning on the heel and moving out of the way. Punch comes, I move. I hit back. Yes. Yeah, I go one, two, forwards. Again, so here, one, two, three. We can change this one, two. Okay? So there are the weaves. Small movements, no ducking, side to side. You get these later on in the cross stitch. And we go forwards. Okay? Final one is a pullback. Punch comes here, it's aiming for my head. Here. Okay? So as it comes in, if I move and it's been tagged here, it'll stop here and I move that away. So you'll fully extend here. What would be here is now here and we're out of the way. To double this, we're going to bring the knee up. Okay? So we're in. Here, left side. Take a small step back, lift, lift, and again, solid hands, lift, lift. These hands are just here to block. One, two, three, change this side. Again, one, two, three, from the front, left side. Okay, one, two. Three. And then you advance, forwards, change, this way. Again, step back. One, two, three. Very simple. 